Pope Francis is the son of Italian immigrants, so migrants and refugees have always been at the heart of his concerns. Therefore, before the world put their eyes on this drama, he did. His first trip outside of Rome was to Lampedusa, the Italian island that hosts thousands of victims of forced migration. It was also one of the first times he spoke of the globalization of indifference. Siamo una società che ha dimenticato l'esperienza del piangere, del patire con la globalizzazione dell'indifferenza. He even used harsh words about the tragedies at sea, as when 368 people died asphyxiated on a barge in October of 2013. Non posso non ricordare con grande dolore le numerose vittime dell'ennesimo tragico naufragio avvenuto oggi a largo di Lampedusa. Mi viene la parola vergogna. È una vergogna. The Pope met with survivors and confessed that it was hard to find the right words when speaking to them. The Pope's message on immigration is clear. We should not build walls but bridges. There is no need to close the doors. We must open them. So he asked each parish to take in a family of refugees. Ogni parrocchia, ogni comunità religiosa, ogni monastero, ogni santuario d'Europa ospiti una famiglia. Even though they account for a larger statistical count of refugees since World War II, they are not numbers, they are people. Esta crisis que se puede medir en cifras, nosotros queremos medirla por nombres, por historias, por familias. It was here in Ciudad Juarez where the Pope had one of the most significant gestures to migrants, prayer at the border between Mexico and the United States, for so many who lost their lives trying to improve it. In late 2014, the Pope visited European institutions. He pathetically said these words, before some that decided that Europe must massively deport refugees. Cari eurodeputati, è giunta l'ora di costruire insieme l'Europa che ruota non intorno all'economia, ma intorno alla sacralità della persona umana, dei valori inalienabili. In 2015, more than one million people arrived by sea to the European shores. They came from Syria, Iraq, and Afghanistan, mostly fleeing the bombs or the Islamic State. As of 2016, the number of migrants has grown to more than 140,000. They are people that Europe has decided to brush aside and close its doors on them, forgetting the foundation that the European Union was founded on in the midst of the aftermath caused by World War II.